Prince Magnum coming to you from Bon Terre. Welcome to the Prince Magnum channel. Okay, I promised you all in my, net, in my third video uh, showing you how to do budget customizing to your car that we were going, that uh, basically you were going to see me in action. Okay, what we've done is we've taken these parts off and, uh, and we've uh, cleaned them up real nice. Soap, water, degreaser, all that good stuff. And then we've cleaned them up. I mean, we got them as clean as we can get them. Unfortunately, uh, Ford, you know, put grooves and stuff in there that's just really hard to get down in there. So you just do the best you can. Uh, it probably wouldn't hurt if I had a power washer, but I haven't got a power washer. So what we have here is that box that goes around the airflow sensor. We've got over here in the middle uh, the oil cap. Uh, could buy a brand new oil cap, but they really don't make them for the 3.86s. Uh, for some reason, they're just not a great customizable engine. And right over there at the far end is the cover that goes to uh, uh, the uh, fuse box for under the hood. Now, I've got that, once again, got that VHT engine enamel from uh, AutoZone. And this is great stuff. And if you can see right up there on the label, 550 degrees is what this will hold. Hopefully the engine never gets that hot because if it does, something's going to break. Okay. So we're going to hit this up, all right, and my wife's operating the camera while I'm working, but you go to put on your coat, put it on nice and thin, don't, don't get gung-ho just yet, otherwise you'll get runs in the paint, and that's so much fun to fix. But you just keep working at it, get a good coverage, and there's the first coat, okay, and we'll give that a few minutes to dry up, there's the oil cap oh got to run in the paint I can fix that though and then the cover now right there see a run but that's not too hard to fix actually that could be even a flaw in the plastic okay now an important tip after you've hit it hit with spray paint you take your can turn it upside down and spray till it's clean because if you don't the nozzles will actually clog up with the used paint and then it won't work the next time you go to use it so recap the can of paint that is um, we'll give this a few moments we'll hit it with a second coat and then uh, once we're done we'll do it again we'll you know put on another coat see if we can fix the couple runs that was on the other two parts and should be good to go all right and uh, we'll keep the video going for just a few moments while as I explain some other importances of why we're doing this. And this is not just so much for cosmetics. As I said, this is budget hot rodding. Um, and hot rodding is not always just about looks. This is also about improving the performance of your vehicle. This box here houses the uh, airflow sensor. If we can keep, if this paint will reflect a lot of heat cut down on a, uh, It'll cut down on the, uh, the wear and tear of that part. Um, the other th important thing to remember is that it'll make sure that the air going through there is actually a little bit cooler. You know, because by the time that goes through all that tubing and everything gets up to the top of the engine, well, it's good and, you know, it's good and hot, so cold air induction is not what it is. Also, engine cap, you know, anywhere where you can get on the engine and get some parts to not soak in as much heat, that's a big help too. Uh, it should be a no-brainer that electronics and heat do not mix very well together. So uh, by doing this, we'll cut down on some of the heat going into the fuse box. Okay, second coat coming up. All right, here we go again. Make sure your can's good and shook up. Now you'll know as you're hitting it with the paint if you've gotten good coverage because you'll see it. You'll see it just fine. And there we go again. Oh, got those, got that run taken care of. If you do, if you go over the run real lightly, just real light like, it's not so bad. I don't think I'm going to be able to fix that run. Let's go over the whole part. And in the worst case scenario, you might have to, uh, you might have to take and, and, uh, Sand, lightly sand it and do it again. I'm not that worried about it because it's going to get hit with a little bit of touch-up work anyways. But 
you get the general idea. Now we're going to let these parts dry. The next video, you'll get to see all these cool parts on. And, uh, you know, uh, so that's definitely going to be interesting when it goes on after it's good and dry. All right, since this is the Prince Magnum channel, like if you will, subscribe if you want. And with all that being said, if nobody's told you that they love you, Prince Magnum does. God bless you and have a happy 24. Thank you.